I'll go very slow here because this is not like Imperion, man. You go crashing into something and your ship will get destroyed. What's up, my friends? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Space Engineers. And if you guys don't know, um, well, how would you know? I didn't tell you. Um, but <laughs> just in case you guys didn't know, I recorded these episodes um, back to back. So if you guys gave me any tips or comments or whatever for the episode one, I have not seen them yet. And um, I kind of expect a lot of good tips and comments from you guys, man, because like this game is tough. Like it's it's tough from a knowledge standpoint. It's uh, like there's a lot of knowledge about this game that I simply do not have. But I am having a great time. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue along today. I think the first thing we're going to do is um, we want to make our ship. Uh, why am I doing that? First of all, let's grab everything and put it into here. I want to get this ship uh, mobile. All right? I don't know how that, I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know <laughs> what the hell is going on. But I'm going to do what I can to get that thing mobile. All right. And uh, there's also on that ship, there is a... Um, by the way, is gravel garbage? I don't know. I'm just going to leave it in there for now. Um, I... Pretty sure it's garbage, but I don't know for sh I don't know 100%. Um, is there a quicker way to move these over? Or? I don't know. There we go. That went pretty quick. Starting to save up some resources. Um, yeah, so on that ship is, is my respawn point. And I believe that the respawn point is actually um, the survival kit. I hope I'm right. It doesn't say, but I, I remember reading that somewhere. Right? Energy low. Oh, that's not good. All right, let's take care of our energy. I think if your energy gets too low, then your life support systems will stop working and you might, like, end up taking damage. Um, oh, look at this. Look at all these emotes. Oh, there's DLC packs, too. Style packs. I'll go for those. I don't mind DLC, as long as, like, the game is good. And um, so far, I'm having a great time with this game. You can tell they put a lot of work into it. All right, so this right here, there's survival kit. Um, survival kit. All in one facility to get your space engineer started, but it is limited refining and assembling capabilities allows the player to recharge. Doesn't say anything about uh, respawning, but I think I read somewhere that that is the case. So, you know, I'll just kind of have to take that and hope that it, I'm right. Um, I didn't even go down. Wait, did I not go down there? Did I put everything in here? I don't know what I did. Yeah, I'm going to grab all this stuff anyway. Here we go. And put it all in there. I don't know. I really want to throw away the gravel because I. I I think I remember the gravel being used for something, but I I can't for the life of me remember what. Alright, is there any way to Um Is there any way to get this thing on the top? Probably. Um deposit all ores, ingots, and components. Yeah, see. I don't know. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to figure things out here, but yeah, I'm still having a great time. Great time. Okay. So I think what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna take apart the survival the survival kit thingy. And I think that was uh, right here. Nope, that's the O2 generator. There's a the survival kit. Okay, everything's out. Now, when you take this thing apart, do not die. Because right now, I have nowhere to spawn if I die. So that would be a very, very bad thing. But I'm going to take those components and I'm going to build it up here. And I'm still losing... I'm still missing steel plates. That's interesting. I thought I would... I thought you get 100% back. Unless I was full. Maybe my inventory is full. I don't think it was, though. No. I don't know. Weird. See, I thought you get everything back, but not that it really matters that much, but because I got some right here. All right. There we go. Survival kit. I'm going to build this all the way up because I can. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Cool. Now they have the survival kit. I need to decide how I'm going to build this thing. So these are atmospheric thrusters. All right. I've got atmospheric thrusters pointing up. Um, I think the first thing we're going to need is a cockpit. Oh. Nope. Nope, I didn't want to do that. I don't know why I was hitting that, not the block in front of me. Whatever. Um, oh, there's something pointing down there. I didn't see that. What is that? It's going to be some kind of atmospheric thruster, right? Uh, hydrogen thruster, huh? Okay. Well, there's that. Um, okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to kind of... Um, go like that, press 5 again, no, 6 again to make it small. There we go. Now we should be able to put these in. I don't know why I just broke those out and I'm going to put them back in, but it's all good. There we go. Alright, so I definitely want to put this in there. I don't know if I want that, that thruster there, but it's also weird that I can't get up here. I feel like I should be able to get in there. Maybe I could duck and get in there. I don't really want to play games, though. 
All right, well, let's take a look at what we're going to do here. So we're going to make this cockpit right here and put that in there. Number five. All right. Uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, oh, it's not connecting. Oh, there, now it's connecting. Hold on. There we go. And I think we can put it right there. Yep, there we go. All right, cool. Now let's, uh, oh! <laughs> I thought I didn't take apart the cockpit. All right, I, it's really frustrating that I can't get in there. I wish I could. All right, guys, I've grinded out a lot of the inside of the ship. I've got the battery left and I've got the H2O2 generator left. Um, I don't know what to do with this thruster though. I think I'm gonna take this thruster out. I don't know why I would need a hydrogen thruster. Maybe it's more powerful than the other thrusters. Maybe I won't have enough lift at that point. I, I don't really know, but I'm gonna take it apart because I wanna get the metal grids from it. So if I put this right here, this is a storage container. So if I put it right here, I should be able to craft this entire storage container. Uh, construction components, uh, small steel tubes. So I don't know about the small steel tubes. Let's see what those take. Small steel tubes. Yeah, it's just iron. Yeah, so I could definitely craft this thing. I'm not going to, though, because I don't want to do it right now. Um, but I, I could do that. I'm going to need a storage container eventually. By the way, I also started making a beacon. Because the idea was to get this ship flying and just get out there and find some ores. I'm not going to be doing that today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing flying with a drill on it. And I'm planning to drill stone in the side of the mountains uh, as a way to get stone quicker than I've been getting it uh, so far. That's the idea. Can I get power without the seat? Uh, maybe not. I might have taken out what I need for that. Uh, that's a bummer. I have no way of getting power. Hmm. Okay, well, let's put this, let's put the seat back in. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. And kind of go right there. We're going to kind of fill in these blocks. we got to be very careful with our power now. We kind of kind of hurry at this point. Um, I don't know if there's any other way for me to get power back right now. Okay. It's kind of... Give me some problems here. Come on. Come on, bro. I don't know why I can't put it there. Is there something there? All right, I'm not, you know what? I don't really care. I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, this thing's using energy too. I forgot. All right, guys. There was something on this drop pod that was allowing me to refill energy. I think so. Maybe not. It might have actually been health O2 and hydrogen. I don't know. But I do have a cockpit now, and that will allow me to refill energy. Oh, boy. All right, so I think we have four atmospheric thrusters pointing down on this ship. So I think we're going to have one pointing forward, back, left, and right. And then we'll see how that flies. Probably will fly pretty crappy, you know, but yeah, I've got to start somewhere. All right, so let me see if I can actually make atmospheric thrusters. Ion, large, large, there we go. All right. Are those the, yep, those are the ones. Okay, so we want to go all directions. And it doesn't have to look pretty. We just need to get this thing moving so we can, you know, keep on keeping on with the let's play. Um, so it's going that way. That's going that way. That should be okay. Possibly. Put it right in the middle. Come on. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, it should be okay. And put, oh, do they have to... Can they not have anything behind them? Will that cause problems? Well, guys, it might just be... Uh, situation of me not knowing what I'm doing but man the grind <laughs> wow dude um yeah the grind's really hardcore right now but I'm hoping that number one I probably don't know what I'm doing and I'm missing obvious things could very well be the case or it could be just a case of it being grindy early game until you get stuff going it was like that in Space Engineers when I played it back in the day it was pretty grindy early game but then once you got going you were really you know you were really going good all right, so it looks like we need a few more motors here, and then we should be good to go. Um, hopefully, I don't know. It's weird. There's some atmos the atmospheric thrusters that came with the ship are not like doing anything. They're not being recognized or anything like that, which is really weird. Um, so we're gonna have to kind of look into that. I don't know anything about how to fly ships in this game. I used to know, man, back in the day. I even built my own ships back in the day. Um, nobody watched the videos. It was, <laughs> it was when my, uh, channel was a lot, um, a lot smaller than it is now. Um, uh, but yeah, I used to build my own ships, man. It's pretty decent ones too. The problem is time, you know, we only have so much time in the day and like, I just don't have time to build ships. It's that simple. 
Which is a shame. I mean, if I was doing this full time, that might be different, but... Uh, alas, I am not. Okay, so we're gonna take that. And I think we're... Will two more be good? I don't know. I don't remember how many I need. Whoa. There we go. Nope, still need 20 construction components. Wow. Quite a few construction components there. Hopefully we have everything we need for those. 20, 10, 20. And then, now you might say, well, you don't have anything. It wasn't working because of the power. Um, I don't have enough power to run uh, both of my machines at once, unfortunately. Um, so, what are you going to do, right? Uh, 18. Oh, we're so close. You know what? Why don't we put these back? And then why don't we do something that I noticed earlier that's pretty cool. You could disassemble stuff. So we're just going to disassemble these since we don't need them. And then we'll get the resources back, hopefully enough to make the construction components. Yeah, but I have two machines here. I have the um, I have the refinery and the assembler, and they both take too much power where I can't run them both at the same time. Which, you know, whatever. It's not, it's not really that big of a deal, to be honest. Um, just a bit of a... Wait, 16? Oh, did I dis... I disassembled them, didn't I? Yes, I did. There we go. Reassemble them. I think you get 100% back. So it's not really, like, that big of a deal. I'd also like to know, is there any way for me to skip night in this game? I don't want to skip it all the time, but I want to be able to skip it sometimes. I wish I could just sleep through the night, which would be awesome, but... And there we go. Okay. So, uh, let me, uh, get in the cockpit, and I'm going to show you what I got going on here. So, if we go left, right... Oh, they're facing the same way. Oops. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, so the, the ones going forward and back are good. Um, the one on the left I have to replace. But check this out. The ones on the bottom don't seem to be doing anything. Right? I don't see anything going on the bottom ones when I try and take off and I can't take off. I'm not really sure what's going on with those. All right. But first things first, let's go ahead and fix this one. Put this one backwards. Should get 100% of the stuff back, so... And number five. And how about that? All right. How well is this thing going to fly when I do get it working? I don't know. Probably not very well. But, um, yeah, I'm not really sure why the ones on the floor, the ones at the bottom. I wish I could. Yeah, there we go. So let's see if we can uh, try and take. Yeah, the ones on the bottom aren't doing anything when I try and take off. I'm assuming trying to take off is a space bar. Although I guess you never know for sure. I don't, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dis, I'm gonna break down one of these, and then rebuild it and see if that makes it work. Nah, I don't see anything. Nope, I'm not really sure why they're not working. These are working. The ones on the top are doing just fine. Yeah, they're all working perfectly, except for the one in the. Oh God, they're all backwards. <laughs> the ones in the front, the ones going forward and back are going different than the ones going left to right. All right, guys, I rebuilt them, placed them all back down again, and they are working. I've already tested them. Um, I don't know if they're going to get me off the ground, but they are doing stuff. So let's see if we can get this thing off the ground. It does not look like it. I don't know if I don't have enough power or, I mean, I don't know if I'm docked on the ground somehow. Hey right, guys, I'm still not sure what I was doing wrong with that ship, but I did get it. I took off all the landing gear and then it eventually um, lifted up into the air. And then I put my own landing gear on there and um, it's looking okay now. We can kind of fly it around a little bit. Um, I think the next thing we're going to want to do is get a drill on the front, maybe deal with some conveyor stuff. I'm not really sure what the drill could hold. I'd prefer to just make the drill only for now and just kind of do the conveyor system later. But I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, so there's the drill. Oh, that's pretty cheap. That is relatively cheap. Let me go ahead and drop all the stuff in here. There we go. And then we're going to start by making uh, some steel plates. And that'll be good enough for now. And let's just go place this drill down. All right, so we're going to put it right in front. Uh, we need to get some blocks in there first. I don't think I can get to the ones in the back if I leave it like that. So let's do that first. Go ahead and do this. I mean, the ships will get better. Actually, my ships will never be that good. But uh, they're usually better than this. I'm just trying to put together something just to... Uh, I need to automate the, um, the, the resource gathering in some way. Oh, I could put it right on the front, can't I? Oh, all right. So hold on. Let's see if we can do this. Like that? Uh, you need uh, steel plate. Oh, steel plate. Okay. Yeah, let's get some more steel plate. 
Okay, let's go do that. And we can't make any more because we don't have any more iron. Man, that iron goes quick. That's what I'm saying. Like, I need to automate this. So I'm going to make the ugliest looking crap ship I can possibly make and just automate this. I think when that's when that's lit up, it means it's lined up. Um, unable to place drill. Uh, oh, is it too big? Yeah, it's too big. All right, well, let's try and take these out on the sides. You gotta be careful when you when you uh, when you're grinding stuff because you could like accidentally grind something behind it and really mess things up. So that's why you see me like grinding and stopping, grinding and stopping. And uh, it's not so bad with this grinder, but with the next grinder, it will be bad because the next grinder, the next upgraded grinder, will grind away stuff very, very quickly. Okay, there we go, and put that like that. I'm able to place drill. I don't know if there's something in the way or if I just don't have enough materials. I'm thinking I don't have enough materials. Hopefully. It's kind of weird, though. Usually you don't need a ton of materials to put the... I mean, 14 steel plates should be enough. Well, you know what? Let's just place it anywhere, and then we'll see if we have the... Now, I see if it's green. I think that means we do have the right materials. Yep. Okay, so I'm just not placing it in the right spot. All right. Let's see if we can get this to work. I want it connected to that, because then it'll connect to my cockpit. And that will uh, make things a lot easier moving forward. Let's go ahead and take that apart. Take that apart. Five. There we go. Alrighty. Looking good. Uh, yeah, I can make all that stuff. Hell yeah, I can. Just gotta go do some more uh, freaking resource grinding, man. Oh, God. Beginning of this game. But then again, there's probably ways you could do this a lot quicker and more efficiently. And I just don't know. Because it's a complicated game and it's brand new to me. I'm sure you guys leave me a lot of tips. Can't wait to read them. Inventory full. Oh boy. Is it ever. Yeah, this is the most annoying part. Having to run stuff up here like this. What I'll eventually do is I'll have a conveyor system set on the base. Connected to an input. And then I'll have an output connected on the ship. With its own inventory. So um, I won't even have to get out of the ship to load stuff into the um, proper spots in my base. All right, guys, the drill is about to be complete. Hells yeah. Oh, almost. Almost. We're so close I could taste it. I love the ability to disassemble stuff, man. It's been saving my ass. Like, for... Ugh. Still have enough. That's like, that's like a couple short, isn't it? It's like too short. Yep. You son of a biscuit. Son of a bitch. That's what you get. Get me cursing. Alright. Alright, that'll be enough. We're not full, but that's okay. I want to I want to drill with this thing. I hope that the drill can hold a good amount of, of uh, ore, though, because... Yeah, I, I really don't want to do the conveyor system today. I've been, I've been at this game for hours, guys. Hours. And um, I am having a good time. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I gotta, I gotta get some other stuff done, man. Come on. Come on, you have enough. Let's go. Thank you. Drill is done. There we go. Okay. Now, how much can that bad boy hold? Let me see if there's a way to tell from in here. Um, inventory. Look at everything. The drill. Oh, 30, 3375. That's good. That's like three over three times more than what I can hold. Beautiful. All right, so that's a step up. Not quite as high as I want it to be, but it's a step up. Let's see if we can do some drilling. All right, so we're going to press G to bring up this menu. Now, when you're in a cockpit, this menu is all of your cockpit's st things, right? So you can, like... Now, I wish Imperion would do this. So what you could do is you put the drill on number one, and then anytime you want the drill on, uh, I'll toggle it on and off. You just press number one. Okay. Well, maybe I should give myself some power. There you go. There you go. All right, cool. All right, so let's undock. I think that's P, right? Yep. All right, now this thing is not going to fly very well, but that's okay. It doesn't need to. It just needs to just be able to drill stuff. Okay. I'll go very slow here, because this is not like Imperion, man. You go crashing into something, and your ship will get destroyed. Uh, all right, well, let's do it. Number one, and easy does it. There we go. I don't know how much I'm actually getting here, but back out, back out. I don't know why I'm not backing out. Hmm. 
There we go. Just kind of caught in there. Alright, cool. Let's see what we got from that. Just that one little... Mother that effer. <sighs> now what? Um, well, I, I have jetpacks, of course. Oh, careful. What's with me in jumping out of things these days? I did the same thing in uh, Seven Days to Die recently. K is the button I'm looking for. All right, inventory. All right, well, there you go. Just a little bit of stone. Uh, cockpit. So the cockpit can hold... Oh, so that's my inventory, I guess, kind of. Um, there we go. Look at that. We got 6.74 kilograms, and we're at 20. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a lot faster already. Um, it's not going to be as fast as we could normally do it. I mean, when we get when we get the conveyors and stuff in there, we're really going to be rocking and rolling. But um, this is still pretty cool, and it's a lot faster than I was dealing with before. That's for damn sure. It's a little bit tricky to get out of there. It's, like, weird. It's, like, it's almost like the drill kind of pulls me in. You know? Which is kind of interesting. And not only is this going to be ore, but this is going to be travel. So I can go traveling around now. Which is cool. This thing actually handles pretty... Not bad, honestly. Now, I don't have a beacon at my base. Which means I have to stay in the area of my base until I get that beacon made. Okay? Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so I need to put more thrusters going forward for sure. Because this is going very slowly. Um, but nah, actually it's all right. You just gotta get some, uh, gotta get some momentum up. And what we're going to do is we're going to land this as close to the base as we can without destroying it. <laughs> oh man, this game's fun, man. It's a little slow in the beginning, but you know, I'm having a good time here. Okay, hold on, hold on. All right. Gotta be very careful. This thing is not super maneuverable. I'm trying to get the cockpit as close to the or refinery thing as possible without actually crashing into it. Okay, that should be pretty good. And once your thing's green, locked. Nope. Nope, we're not locked. There we go. Are we locked now? Yep, we're locked now. So it auto locks. That's what it does. Alright. Look at me all oh, being alive. And so oh boy, I forgot that thing was on. I turned that off when I was in the cockpit. It's weird that it didn't do it. Alright, so we go in here, and now we have to transfer the hard way. But that is okay. Wait, what did we come out of there with? Wait, 774. Hmm, we, could have, we actually could have stayed out there a little bit longer. Alright, that's cool. That's cool, man. I like that. I like it a lot. Now this is going to be a lot faster transfers. Now, now we're going to be able to get some stuff done. I think the next thing is to get conveyors hooked up on that thing. Probably going to be... And we're also going to have to look for cobalt. Um, you can, we're going to need cobalt eventually, and you can't get cobalt from stone. So, we're going to have to look for cobalt nodes. But this is, this is definitely much better. I mean, this is way, way better. Look at that, we're actually getting stuff in there before it's completely done being uh, refined. Uh, there we go. I don't know what that is. I'm going to find out what that is. What is that? This down here. Cockpit 2. Can I, okay, so I can't take it out of the cockpit 2 because... Cockpit 2. There's no cockpit 2. There's only one cockpit in this thing. That's odd. Um, right? No, it's cockpit 2 because it's the second cockpit that was put in. But why is it not able to work? The ore should be able to come through there. And the cockpit is... Here, let's see if the cockpit is actually... Okay, so this stuff's in the cockpit. This is the drill. Hmm, I don't know why the cockpit's not hooked up to the drill. I put them in... I think I put them in properly. I'm going to have to mess around with that off camera. I'm pretty sure when I put the drill in, there's one of these um, one of these ports on the drill side, on the cockpit side. But, I don't know, maybe I, maybe I didn't do it right. Now, only certain things can go through certain um, conveyor openings. Like there's there's two there's two kinds of conveyor openings. There's a small one and there's a large one. But as far as I know, all ores can go through the small one. So it's it's kind of weird that it can't go through that. I can't Yeah, the cockpit's not hooked up to anything. Now, can I get into the, I can get to the cockpit in a minute, right? Yeah, there we go. Eh, it's interesting. I'm going to have to look into that. Anyway, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you haven't enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. And now we're getting some proper iron. Hells yeah.